Okay guys, so welcome back to the next video. Today we are going to take a look at something I saw on eBay and I was like, listen, I have to buy this because this was the very first issue of White Dwarf that I bought, issue 132, way back in December 1990. It cost £1.50, $3.95, $6.50 Australia, or if you lived in West Germany, 70, 780 Deutsche Marks. So, um, I, I always remember this cover. And I, I, I lost it somewhere, and I, it was just an issue that I always wanted. Um, so we'll take a quick look through it. Um, the condition, I have to, I have to say, it's, it's just in fabulous condition. It really is. Uh, I wish I was in as good a condition myself. Um, and something I never noticed, but the magazine actually came with holes that you could bind it up. And the first thing that comes is the Lost in the Damned ad. Something that I never had, but it's something I would like to get my hands on. Now, what I will say is this, this White Dwarf, I didn't realise it at the time, but it has the real feel of a like a fanzine as opposed to a magazine. And... If you look down through it here, modeling workshop, like they gave the blueprints and templates and building instructions to build a full bay and blade in this. A full bay and blade. £1.50. Amazing. And um, inside, we'll take a look. So you've got all your games, clubs, and retail stores. Nice bit of news from the clubs as well. Look, Citadel News. What was actually happening in the Citadel Design Studio? Dave Andrews had a little article there. Uh, and I remember these, been in it, have seen these regularly um, on, on little building projects and free templates to, to, to do your little jobs. Look at Dave Andrews' cool hair, look. Look at that. He's like Dave Andrews Chewbacca. Space Marine, Epic Realm of Chaos. And like the full rules for them for Epic. Look, all the greater demons, the lesser demons, even the cheeky demons. Oh, put that away. Flamers, the Demon Princes, Nurgle, some cool artwork there. This artwork actually, in 1990 I was, I was in nine, and I remember this artwork thinking, oh my god, he's got some sort of like a skewer holding his guts together. That's so cool. Got the early stages of Necromunda. Look. Belt buckles. I love that artwork. I never. I always remember that piece of art, that John Blanche artwork. A guy, you know, you just. What do you do when you get like shot in the head? Just get a piece nailed on. And I always wondered what these were coming out of his nose. Are they like? Are they? It's like a pipe stash. Oh, or is it? Oh, uh, maybe is it a respirator? I don't know. It's a bit strange. Anyhow, it doesn't make any difference. It's just still a cool piece of art. Only Ducky would come along with like, like a beautiful artwork on the pistols. I just somehow feel that, that this, these are all things that current Games Workshop White Dwarf has lost. Advanced Base Crusade, Turnids, Scouts. Look at those Scouts. How cool are they? Look. There's space up there. Look. Look at his face. Look. Awesome Blood Angel Scout there. Yeah, they're so cool. Advanced Base Crusade, Imperial Guard by Jarvis Johnson. Look at this, look at this. Really, really cool. Like it didn't matter like about a massive model count. It just it just looked like a cool game. Like 
Mighty Empires, I haven't played Mighty Empires. Now, here we go. Here we go, the Bane Blade. So this is the finished product. It's absolutely awesome. Like you get all the plans here, where to put them, how to put it together. <clears throat> this, more of the finished product over here. There it is all painted up in colour. They give you a colour picture of it, just in case you were in any doubt that it wouldn't work. Like, is that not going to inspire you to greatness? Seeing that there. Thinking, do you know what? I was eating me Weetabix out of that this morning. Brilliant stuff. Chaos Marines. Really great artwork in the middle then. <clears throat> Then I loved the orcs from this time. That shock attack gun. I'm not saying I don't like the new shock attack gun. But I think the orcs lost a sense of comedic chaos. My personal favourite, the, the Death Wing there. Maybe they look awesome. You got the Space Crusade miniatures all painted up over here. Look at that dreadnought. you got like some painting tips from the, the heavy metal team, Mike McVeigh. Some Warhammer Fantasy roleplay. Like there was quite a lot in this magazine. Where did it all go wrong, lads? Ads at the back. Look. They were looking for illustrators back then. You know, they just couldn't get enough of people. And then what hooked us all? We could buy all the little things, except if you lived in Ireland, and they were going to charge you. Where is it? Where is it? Including era, 40% of your order in postage. Holy moly. Genie Mackers. Could have gotten a cheap Ryan Air flight back then. Look at the old Gene Steeler cults. They, they were like amazing. Amazing. Over here, Patriarch. The Magus. The pure strange gene stealers. The Elder Guardians. Mech Boys. Oh yeah. Like, to be honest with you, these Mech Boys, they stand up today against the current models, I have to say. And my personal favourite, the Orc Pirate with the Cyborg Body. Gotta get me one of those now. The Orc Pirate and another Cyborg Body. I always thought this guy was a bit weird looking though. He's a bit too smiley, sold all his teeth for for what? A nice coat. And this guy up here, he looks, he reminds me of like a pre Badrook, Captain Badrook. And that is it. There's a full run through of. White Dwarf, issue 132. So, guys, thanks for joining me. See you in the next video. Bye now.